guys! Welcome to PSL Customs Questions and Answers video. In this video I'll be answering questions about my customs and also about me. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you get answers to the questions that you were always wanting to ask me. First question. What do you use to prep your customs? I use nail polish remover that contains acetone. Um, that makes it really easy to remove the paint, so your LPS will look like this afterwards. Second question, what do you use to cut off parts from your LPS, like this tail for example? I use an X-Acto knife, looks something like this. Third question, what do you use to sculpt? I use green stuff or knedatite. It's a two component epoxy based sculpting putty that you um, sculpt your stuff with. And then you let it dry for eight hours and it dries by itself and it looks like this when it's done. I'm gonna tell you more about it when I do my tutorial videos. What do you use to paint your customs? I use acrylic paint. Here is a base coated custom. It looks like this. Question, what sealer do you use? I don't use a sealer for my customs actually because they're supposed to be display only items. Um, you're not really supposed to take them anywhere outside of their designated place where they're supposed to be. So I don't use a sealer. My customs that I have at home are just fine, even after years of, you know, being there. So, yeah. You're just not supposed to treat them roughly. How do you do a head swap? Well, I'm not going to show you in this video, but I might try to make another video for you at some point. Um, basically, what you do is you just heat up the head of the LPS with a hairdryer, and uh, you just rip the head off, and then you put it into another LPS body. Um, it can be kind of hard to do, so uh, you might want to ask an adult to do it for you, like I asked my fiancé to do it for me, because I'm very bad at it. Okay, first question about my customs in general. When did you start customizing and why? Uh, I actually started customizing back in 2007. Um, back then I was only doing My Little Pony customs. Um, since then, um, obviously, I started doing LPS customs. That was around 2013, um, December or September or something. Um, why did I start making them? Well, actually it all started with this fellow. Um, he's not my first custom, but he's the thing that inspired me to make it. So I was playing <laughs> the really old game Heroes of Might and Magic 3 on the computer. You're probably too young to even know the game. If you do, you're awesome. Um, basically in the game you have different creatures and um, there's one called Manticore, which is this one. Or, well, looks similar to this one. Um, what I did was uh, I actually drew a picture of a manticore baby, which had these really chibi pr proportions with a big head, big eyes and a little body. And I actually saw an LPS because my mom bought me one because she knew that I like cutesy stuff. Um, and I realized it would be really cool to make these Heroes of Might and Magic creatures into LPS. So, um, well, LPS customs. So here's my manticore custom. He was my second one. And people have also asked me what my first custom was. And it was this one. Here we go. It's also a creature from the same game. It's called a Greater Basilisk. Next question, why do you only customize LPS? Um, well, as I said, I already used to customize My Little Ponies, but I realized that um, they weren't versatile enough for me and I just have a huge imagination and there's different things that I want to do other than ponies. And when I found out that there were these LPS toys that come in a variety of um, different animals, I decided, you know, it would be really fun to try to customize them. And obviously, I have been ever since. I haven't gone back to ponies because they're just so limited for me, personally. Um, you know, I just like doing different kinds of creatures and I find that LPS toys are really good for, you know, different kinds of creatures like Pokemon and video game characters and stuff. How many LPS have you made and what is your most recent one? Well, hello, I am the most recent custom. <laughs> this is uh, my my weird mystical flower crown kitty. Um, that's just an original character by me. Um, well, she's my most recent one. She's my number 411, I think. People also asked me, how many more customs are you going to make? I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'll stop when my imagination runs out, I think. And I don't think that's anytime soon. Next question. What's the most challenging custom you've ever made? Well, here she is. Um, I made her fairly recently. She was my custom number 
400, I think. Um, basically why she was so challenging was because I rerouted her, which isn't really a normal thing to do with LPS. Um, I put all these little holes in her head, um, as you can see, and I put each and every single strand of hair into her head separately. I know that there are rerouting tools that you can use, but um, when I made it, I didn't actually know that there was those. Um, she's super cute, actually, like, you open her hair, it looks really nice and long, so I don't regret making her. I think it was a really fun challenge for me, especially since I've made so many customs. Next question, do you have an LPS custom that's special to you and that you're never going to sell? Um, there are actually lots of customs that are special to me and that I'm never going to sell, like my mascot and my first ones, obviously, but here's one that immediately popped to my mind. This is a custom based on my cat, um, Suzu, who passed away about a year ago. Um, obviously, I'll, I'm never going to sell this custom because this one just reminds me of her and, you know, I really miss her and she's always going to have a special place in my heart and that's why this custom means so much to me because, um, you know, it's what I have left of her. What inspires you to make customs, um, more specifically original characters? Um, there are many things that inspire me to make customs. Obviously, I do lots of video game characters. I do lots of um, game, I mean, TV series characters. I do, I do lots of different characters. Um, what inspires me to make my original characters kind of varies. I just, I like looking at animals you know, in just normal animals in, in the nature and, and I like to look at the patterns that they have and, and that really inspires me. Another thing that inspires me is um, just anime and, and manga and like just the Japanese style is so wonderful and I love that aesthetic. You know, if you just go on Google Images and you just look at different pictures from around the world, you'll just immediately feel inspired and it's really hard to pinpoint one one thing that makes me inspired to do customs or characters, but um, I'd say most of the inspiration comes from nature itself. Next question is, do you hate it when people copy your customs? Um, first, let us get one thing straight. I think it's one thing to just blatantly flat out copy someone's custom, and another thing is obviously many people just, you know, just do mistakes and, and don't even realize that they're copying someone. For example, if I saw another custom of Grumpy Cat made onto this base, um, I actually haven't sculpted anything, this is what the actual LPS looks like. Um, if I saw this, I wouldn't be upset because Grumpy Cat isn't my character. Um, it's not a terribly original idea to paint Grumpy Cat onto this base figure. However, stealing someone's design is obviously a terrible thing to do. Um, for me, I think the general rule is how do you differentiate between something that's been stolen or something that's, um, you know, your own design is how you use someone else's custom as a reference for your custom. So do you actually have to look at a picture of someone else's custom while you're painting? Because that obviously means that you're copying them. Um, I don't approve of copying. I think everyone probably has a, you know, great enough imagination to make their own things and you don't have to copy someone else. Um, if, if there is something that you're concerned about that you might have copied, you know, or, I don't know, made the same character that I have, you can always reach out to me and ask me, you know, is it okay? And normally, if it's not an original character by me, it's not a big problem. If I see that there's something that's very specifically my style, such as the eyes that I normally do, not these, these are normal eyes, but I have a very specific style of, of you know, how I make the eyes, and if you copy that, I'll, of course, be a little bit... <laughs> A little bit annoyed <laughs> um, you know there's nothing I can do I just think artists should respect each other and people spend hours and months and years coming up with original designs so please just know that it's not just a character for someone it's something that they've put so much time and effort into and don't copy it please don't copy people's customs okay next question where do you get your LPS um, I buy all my LPS <laughs> Um, most of them I buy from eBay, um, some of them I bought from garage sales or second-hand stores here in, in Finland, where I live. Um, sometimes if someone commissions me for a rare base pet, like a, like a short hair cat or something, they'll just send me the pet um, and I'll customize it and send it back to them. Um, I actually kind of support buying these fake ones from China if you're going to customize them, because at least then you know you're not customizing a rare LPS. Like, for example, this one was made from a fake, um, from a fake Dachshund. 
Next question, what's your favorite LPS to customize? Um, right now I'd say it's this base figure. It's just really cute. Um, you already saw, obviously, um, one of the favorite customs that I made was made from this base figure. I'm currently doing the EV illusions made from it and they look really, really cute. Um, so yeah, at the moment it's this base figure. I also love cats, obviously. So that's, you know, any LPS custom that's a cat is gonna be cute for sure.